introducing new Hack 5 gear and updates to all the Hack 5 arsenal across the board, including Cloud C2. That's right, it's the Screen Crab, it's the Signal Owl, all that and more this time on Hack 5. Hello and welcome to a very special Hack 5, one that has been in the making for years and I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am to finally share with you some of these new creations that, you know, and honestly, what better day to be releasing this than if you're watching on the day it came out, August 5th. Uh, Longtime viewers of Hack 5 will probably remember. It's kind of crazy to think. August 5th, 2005. 14 years ago, this crazy journey started, and I never would have imagined that it would have come nearly as far as it has. And, and it really, it's, it's thanks to you guys. So thank you for watching. And, and you know what? Thanks to the Epic crew, past and present, that have made uh, Hack 5 what it is today. I'm so lucky to work with these guys. Uh, and, you know, the dev team knows they've been working tirelessly to bring you these new updates. And while I get the pleasure of introducing all the new gear, it's really because of them that it's possible. So if you're going to be at DEF CON 27, you might want to come by the Wireless Village on Friday at 4 o'clock, see our talk, and say thank you to them in person. Um, and so, you know, here's, without further ado, I know you're all very excited about this. Here's the breakdown for today's exciting announcements. We're going to talk about the Cloud C2 updates. We're going to introduce the crab, introduce the owl, then talk about firmware updates across the board the, on the Wi-Fi pineapple, the uh, land turtle, then the packet squirrel. And let's just go ahead and get started. Cloud C2. Um, if you're not familiar, it's the online command and control platform that we released last year, and it lets you deploy and manage all of your Hack5 gear on a self-hosted server that runs easily on Windows, Mac, and Linux. And today we're releasing version 2.0. It's available now at c2.hack5.org. And it features a new lighter weight protocol that uses less bandwidth, so that's kind of cool. But more notably, a loot system for exfiltrating data that is just beyond cool let me just show you a demo so i'm here in my cloud c2 instance and i have a, a royal flush of all the devices connected i'm just going to go over here to my land turtle and you'll see there's a loot menu now so currently i don't have any loot but let's get some so if i pop into a turtle uh, shell here uh, no pun intended i actually have a log file here from nmap and if i do c2 xfil string and just specify that file and then I'm going to say what payload it came from, I don't know, um, and map. Now that's going to send it up to Cloud C2, and if I now head over to loot, I see there's my exfiltrated loot, and I can view the file, and there's my nmap scan results, and all of that is available to use using that C2 xfil command across the board on all of your payloads. So all of the Hack5 devices that run payloads, in fact, this is on the Land Turtle and the Squirrel and the Wi-Fi Pineapple and all the new gear, uh, you're now going to be able to very easily send arbitrary data up to the cloud that you can then you know, view and log and sort and whatever you want to do with. Uh, and you're going to find that same loot menu across all the devices with uh, special handling for the different kinds of data types. So as we saw just looking at a log file, you can view the text contents of it. If I actually come over to uh, another one of our devices here, let's see in the list we've got, oh yes, the screen crab. And I go over to loot, you'll notice I have uh, JPEG files and I can view those JPEG files and I can see what interesting stuff is going on. To which you may be wondering, image files? Which, yes, brings us to the screen crab. And honestly, what better way to introduce it than let's just roll the video. The screen crab by Hack5 is a stealthy video man in the middle. This covert inline screen grabber sits between HDMI devices, like a computer and monitor, or console and television, to quietly capture screenshots. It's perfect for sysadmins, pen testers, or anyone wanting to record what's on a screen. Out of the box, it saves screenshots to a microSD card every few seconds. And by editing a simple text file, you can configure every option, including capturing full motion video. Planting the screen crowd is easy. Just plug it in, power by USB, pop in a card and get instant feedback from the multicolor LED. Coupled with a large microSD card, you can discreetly save nearly a year's worth of data. And with the ScreenCrab, remote monitoring is built right in. 
connect it to the internet over Wi-Fi and exfiltrate those screenshots, or watch the video signal live from anywhere online with Hack5's Cloud C2. Screen Crab, covert inline screen grabs. I cannot begin to tell you how excited I am about the screen crab. This has been in development for a couple of years, and, and man, have there been some interesting challenges in getting this developed, but it is now at the end of the road. What we have developed is honestly the most robust and turnkey tool ever from Hack5. Like seriously, if you would never want to get your hands dirty configuring a device, this is it. It'll just record to the SD card right out of the box. And, and by getting your hands dirty, what I really mean is editing a text file. I, I love that. It's just like, it's so simple and yet, it is just so incredibly powerful. I mean, if I come over here to the configuration tab of my screen crab right now, we see that it's capturing to the SD card, it's streaming, the LED is on on the device. If I want, I can turn the LED off for more stealth, save those changes. Uh, I've got the um, you know image deduplication I can set, the capture interval, I can capture videos or still images fill the SD card or rotate the SD card, and I can just watch live right here and see, oh look, it's uh, a little bit of work going on. So how cool is that? It is just blows my mind insane, uh, especially, you know, here's the thing. I've spoken to some pen testers about it, and you, you think about those physical engagements, you know, and what kind of data is going to have an impact at that client briefing. and. And yeah, it's awesome to wow them with all the data that you've gleaned from their network. But oh boy, is it visceral when you've got like the last couple of weeks of, of screens connected in the conference rooms. You know, you think about the types of information that end up on those screens and, 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 and the fact that, that with the screen crab, you can just exfiltrate that in real time to Cloud C2 and be watching what's being presented. It is some powerful stuff. Not even to mention all of the non-cybersecurity applications of getting uh, screen data out of air-gapped machines or, or specialized equipment. And I mean, I'm sure we're going to hear some good stories about how these are deployed soon. Uh, so the Screen Crab is available to order today at hack5.org with shipments beginning in mid-August. And we will also have a limited number available at the booth at DEF CON. So come by. Uh, and you know what? You'll also be able to pick up yourself a signal owl. So uh, I'm, I'm very excited about this device. Seb and I came up with the idea a couple of years ago. In fact, you may remember on um, Hack Across the Planet uh, a couple of years ago where we ended up in Taiwan and well, now you know why. And uh, you know what? What better way to introduce it than again, let's take a look. The Signal Owl by Hack5 is a signals intelligence platform with a unique design, allowing it to be discreetly planted or taken with you on any engagement. With a simple payload system, it orchestrates attacks using custom utilities and popular tools like Aircrack NG, MDK4, Kismet, and more. The internal Wi-Fi radio is optimized for close access operations, and coupled with a number of common transceivers, it'll support GPS, SDR, and Bluetooth. Powered by USB and featuring USB pass-through, the Signal Owl is able to share a port that may otherwise be occupied without interference. And with Hack5 Cloud C2, command and control is at the forefront. Easily exfiltrate data and drop right into a shell from the web to get root access anywhere. Signal Owl, the signals intelligence platform with simple payloads. So that is the Signal Owl, and it is an incredible intersection of low cost deployability, the discrete form factor, and, and really kind of that payload simplicity you've come to expect from Hack5. And we're really just beginning to scratch the surface of what's possible, as you've seen with the numerous other you know, payload devices from Hack5, just in talking to some notable pen testers that will be soon getting their hands on these. Uh, I know that there's some payloads and works for things like intelligent WPA handshake gathering or, or, or sub gigahertz code capturing and we're working on some epic Bluetooth monitoring stuff uh, just here at Hack5. And it's really poised to become an integral part of your wireless assessment. Uh, you know, and whether that's just deploying a dozen of them across the client site or just one running off a battery in your backpack because it's going to work in conjunction with really, and, and I say work in conjunction, I'm talking about standing on the shoulders of some of these giants like Aircrack and Kismet 
And seriously, the, the biggest props to those guys. Uh, and I think we're going to see some really interesting applications coming out of you guys when, when we can see, you know, when you can develop payloads with your favorite tools and, and we'll continue to make those custom utilities for the platform. It gets really exciting. So that's it. That is the Signal Owl. And it is available today from hack5.org. And I am not going to make a joke about it being a hoot. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ever. We just can move on. So stop asking for that. Okay. Now, uh, in addition to uh, the, this, these awesome new bits of kit, the gear that you already have is getting better uh, in conjunction with the le release of Cloud C2 version 2.0. We're actually updating all of our network devices across the board. So uh, you'll now have an update for your Wi-Fi Pineapple, your LAN Turtle, your Packet Squirrel, uh, and those are all going to be brought up to date with the very bleeding edge OpenWRT 19.07, which puts you on the very latest kernel. Uh, and there's also a bunch of other general improvements on the Turtle and the Squirrel or, or the, the Squirtle front. So check the change logs for goodies about quick creds and 3G connectivity. Um, and on the Wi-Fi Pineapple front, Whoa, the, the changelog is massive. I mean, uh, we have made some major improvements to the, well, really to increase the effectiveness of Pine AP by tweaking the SSID pool rotation in such a way that it's a sweet spot of better mimicking access points in a way that modern smart devices are expecting, right? We've also updated PHP, host APD, supporting some additional MediaTek devices. There are a ton of fixes, more than I can get into in this video, but it's a really robust update, and you're going to find all of them at downloads.hack5.org or just go through the regular mechanism for updating your devices. Um, and honestly, that's just about it. I just wanted to like just put this out into the world. Uh, so that's it for this episode of Hack5. But I know that you guys are going to have some questions about the gear and, and the updates. Uh, so leave those in the comments. Expect future videos getting into the nitty gritty of each of these devices. Um, and really, it's because of your feedback uh, that we've been able to design and develop the way that we have. So I just want to say, you know, my epic gratitude for all of your feedback and all of your support over the, I can't believe it now, 14 years. Uh, if you'd like to know what we're going to be developing next, come to our DEF CON talk on Friday at 4 o'clock in the Wireless Village. We're going to be giving you some sneak peeks of some of the interesting things on the horizon as 2019 is shaping up to be an epic year. And uh, for details on all of the gear that you just saw today, check out hack5.org. And while you're there, click on the community tab at the top. You're going to find our forums uh, and IRC and the Discord. And we're all there. And I can't wait to see you. And with that, I'm Darren Kitchen. And from all of us at Hack5, trust your techno -west. <laughs>